Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. I hope you're all having a great day so far. I hope you've had a wonderful week as well. And I hope you have some fun things planned for this weekend, whether that be going and doing something or staying at home and relaxing, whatever is fun for you. I hope you guys have a great weekend as well. Um, today's Dollar Tree haul is kind of like a variety haul, or I guess you could say a random haul. Um, but I love these kind of hauls. These are actually my favorite um, hauls to do because there's just so many different things going on. So let's go ahead and get started. My Dollar Tree is starting to bring in some summer items. They put out the displays of flip-flops and I believe I got six pairs. So here are, I guess I'm going to show two at a time. So of course I had to get leopard print and then the flamingos and all of the sizes that I got were I think the largest size for women which is 910. I don't think I've ever seen anything larger, at least at my Dollar Tree, as far as the flip-flops go. But I like to use these flip-flops just around the house, in the backyard, at the beach. I wouldn't recommend wearing these flip-flops like out shopping. Um, they're just not very good quality. They are very thin. I wouldn't wear them in any sort of rocky terrain because you're going to feel every single rock you step on but how cute are these prints you guys love the bees and i have another bee one or print so i got this one what does that say be positive with a little bee in the mason jar of course had to get the lemons but i actually have a bucket a dollar tree bucket out in my backyard on my patio and i like to put all of the flip-flops that i haul from dollar tree in there and again wear them around the backyard I also got my daughter some flip-flops. They didn't have very many kid sizes out yet at my Dollar Tree, but these were the three prints that I found. I found these rainbows, rainbows and unicorns, and then I think the ice creams are my favorite. Super cute. And again, we're just going to wear these around the house. Um, maybe going to check the mailbox. I wouldn't recommend wearing those out. Um, except if you're going to the beach. So picked up those and then I was really excited to find these stackable organizers. These are not new to Dollar Tree, but I have been hunting for more of these for I think like a year now. So I got, I think, six more of these drawers and I actually glued these together with E6000 and made a 12 drawer stacking organizer um, which is on my craft room tour video if you haven't seen that I will link it down below so I'm just going to be adding these boxes to that you could also stack these glue them together use them for um, makeup organization Dollar Tree also sells um, like the little lipstick holders I've seen DIYs where you can glue those on top and you have like a really cute makeup organizer system. So I got more of those drawers and I also found more of these organizers with the lids and these are some of my favorites. And again, I was looking for these for like, I think the last year because I wanted to get more because I actually um, store some of my journaling stickers and die cuts in these. So I wanted to get more of these to be able to stack them. And I just love these. These are so good. You could also use these in the bathroom to store like bobby pins, hair ties, things like that, or in an office drawer for thumbtacks and paper clips. So in the hair accessories aisle this week, I found a bunch of butterfly themed clips and snaps, and I'm so excited about these clips right here because they just brought me back to the 90s. Me and my friends used to wear these kinds of clips in our hair. We wore it like kind of like a crown. We would twist our hair and have a bunch of these little butterflies in our hair with the plastic, um, choker and then the roll-on glitter we just thought we were the coolest but this was a nostalgic item for me had to pick this up for my daughter hopefully she'll wear them not quite sure how she's gonna feel about um, having clips in her hair she likes the snap clips but she's not really into bows or anything like that anymore which is kind of sad for me but I also got her these clips so she likes to wear these ones so these were really cool you could actually use these in a planner or a journal as well and what's different about these clips is that they are fabric butterflies that's why I think these would be perfect for a junk journal as well as these gold ones you could make an embellishment 
out of these and put some like maybe some glass beads on here and make it into like a clip or a page holder. So I thought these were so cute. Again, I picked these up for my daughter. And then I also found this head wrap. And look how gorgeous this is. I've never seen this brand at Dollar Tree on Trend, I think is the name of the brand. There's a bunch of different styles of these head wraps. And they also have like this rubber or silicone um, non-slip feature inside, but I just thought this was really cute. I love like this tie in the front. I just think it looks super cute. So I went ahead and grabbed that and then I got some of these hair scrunchies for my daughter as well. You get quite a few in here. So two, four, six, eight, ten. And never seen this brand either, but I'm starting to see a bunch of different, I guess, name brands at Dollar Tree since they raised their prices. So that's exciting. All right, moving along, I picked up three new pairs of scissors from Jot or the office supply section. These are different from the scissors that I normally see at Dollar Tree, the ones that have like the bent blade. These ones are straight blade. And I love the color combinations of these. I usually buy like three or four new pairs of scissors every year because they just go missing in my house. Like like socks and Tupperware lids. <laughs> they just go missing, never to be seen again. So I picked up more scissors because I am a crafter. So got those. I normally don't shop the baby section because I don't have a baby, but every once in a while I do see some things that I can use for crafting, like the baby blankets. And then I found this. This is like a snack container. Um, a non-spill snack container, but I'm going to be using this for weeding vinyl because of this feature. So I have other things that I use like this one that I purchased off of Amazon and like the Dollar Tree nail polish holder. Um, but I really like this one because of how close these flaps are together. It's going to make it really easy to get the vinyl off of the weeding hook. So really excited to find this in the baby section. And I do have a Dollar Tree Cricut Supplies or the best Dollar Tree Cricut Supplies video. I will link it down below if you are new to using a Cricut or a vinyl cutting machine. Um, there's lots of things from Dollar Tree that you can get to use with your Cricut machine or for vinyl crafting. That video is a little bit outdated though. I think I did it almost two years ago. And since then, Dollar Tree has put out actual like vinyl um, weeding tools and actually Dollar Tree vinyl for the Cricut or Silhouette. So I think I might do an updated video on the best Dollar Tree Cricut supplies. All right, so I let's talk about some finds on clip strips this week for me. Definitely check your whole store, check all the aisles, all the end caps. Um, because sometimes you'll find things where they necessarily shouldn't be or where you wouldn't think they would be. Like these keychains I found in on a clip strip, I think in the electronics aisle. But I love these. They remind me of like old school hotel keys. Um, just like with the shape and then the plastic. I don't know. That's just what they reminded me of. I could definitely craft with these and maybe paint them over, but I'm going to probably use these in my junk journal tassels. I just think they're really cool. So picked up these. I think there was one more that said something um, about girls or women or the future is female. Um, I didn't pick up that one, but these were the three that I liked. So I picked those up. More clip strip finds for me this week. These ones I actually found in the makeup section were these luggage tags. These ones are so cute. I recently hauled a bunch of them, um, but then they came out with these. I think this one is my favorite and there is a clear pocket on the other side to put your information. But I found this one, this coffee, and these are like so well made and cute. This pina colada, and then the diamond. Like how cute are these? In the baby shower decor section within the party section, I found these 
mesh drawstring bags. You get eight of them in here. And what I'm actually going to use these for is to put those scent booster beads in and then put them in my dresser drawers because I really love the smell of gain um, laundry detergent and the dryer sheets. So I want my, I want my clothes to smell like that all the time because the scent does wear off. And so I'm going to use the gain booster beads and then put them in here. And unfortunately, Dollar Tree's, I guess their linen um, fragrance sacks, they, they just aren't strong enough in my opinion. This, they smell okay, but they're just not, they don't really last a long time. So um, I wanna try this out and this actually wasn't my idea at all. Um, I can't for the life of me remember on whose channel I saw this on um, when they mentioned it. I think it might have been Crafty Girl, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyways, I thought the idea was genius. And ever since I saw that video um, where she mentioned it, I've wanted to try that. So I finally found those bags. These are the cutest little snap pouches or coin purses I've ever seen Dollar Tree come out with. They've come out with different um, coin purses before, but the sequins I just thought were so darling. And I did find these at the registers. So I found these three colors. I think this one is my favorite. And I think I'm gonna try somehow, some way to attach this either to a keychain or to a tassel on a junk journal. I know it's like really big, um, but I just really love, I love these. It actually kind of reminds me of my grandmother's. Um, my grandmother had a cigarette purse or a cigarette pouch that was like this, um, that was really long, um, but I really loved it. And I love how vintage it was. So these kind of remind me of that. So picked up those. And then in the crafter square section, I found some puzzle saver, which I'm pretty sure is like a Mod Podge. Um, it's just a new item that I saw and I was like, oh, I want to pick that up. Um, I don't know if I would actually laminate any of my puzzles because I like to reuse them and make the puzzle over again. Um, but I think I'm going to try this on different crafts to kind of laminate it. Um, so we'll see how that works out. And... These aren't crafting items, but I'm going to use them as crafting items. These are foundation brushes from the makeup section. And I'm actually going to use these to blend all of my distress inks for my journals. Um, I do have like the Tim Holtz Dauber or Blender. I don't really like that one because it does leave like a circle shape. So I want to use these to kind of blend the edges of my papers. So I went ahead and picked up those in the makeup section. This next item is also not a crafting item, but I'm going to use it for my junk journals. It is a weaving set from the hair accessories aisle. So you have everything in here um, that you would need to bind a junk journal. It has the needles, it has thread as well. Um, this is just for applying extensions and weaves, but again, this has everything you need to bind um, and make your own journals. And I've been slowly collecting things from Dollar Tree to do that because I wanna do a video for you guys using Dollar Tree supplies to make a junk journal. I already have um, the things that I need to make them because I have um, been making junk journals for several years now and I do have tutorials on my channel under the junk journal playlist on how to bind a journal together. But I do want to make one um, with mostly Dollar Tree supplies. Um, for those of you that are interested in it, I've been getting asked a lot of questions about what it is. I have a video on that as well. So you can go check out that playlist if you're interested, but I am going to be making a junk journal video. It's probably going to be a series of videos on how to make a junk journal out of Dollar Tree supplies. So that's going to be really exciting. I found these new prompt journals, which is awesome. I've never seen Dollar Tree do this before. And I did find this with like the coloring books. Um, so just kind of scan the coloring book aisle because sometimes they will throw stuff like this in there and you could easily miss this. So this one is the five minute journal for gratitude. 
I just think these are amazing. So it gives you the prompt to journal about in it. So if you are kind of stuck in a rut and don't really know what to journal about, these little prompt journals are great for that, just to get you started with the writing process of getting like into the habit of journaling every day. And then I found this one. This is a guided journal to celebrate all that you are. And so you just kind of journal, what brought you joy today? What did I do for my recovery today? Today's highlight, today's low moment notes. How are you feeling? Um, it's just basically like checking in with yourself, getting it down on paper is what it looks like. So I found this one, and then the last one I found was a guided journal for healing, hope, and daily care just for today. Love this cover. And this one just has a bunch of spots to journal in that you can write the date in. It has some quotes in there, wellness intentions, mind mindfulness rituals, free thoughts, and so yeah, and then in the back of I think every single one, there is a few like bullet journaling pages as well. So be on the lookout for these. These are awesome. These would make great gifts as well. So picked those up again in the coloring book section. These new notebooks I found in the office supply section at Dollar Tree. I love these. I think these are so cool. They are hard cover front and back. There's also a black one as well. The ones that I saw at my Dollar Tree were just too heavily damaged, so I didn't pick the black one up. But these are excellent for journaling as well. And I love how these open up flat. Now, the ones that I bought from Dollar Tree looks like there may have been some moisture or water damage, which honestly, I love that for junk journaling. Um, but if you didn't want to maybe start with binding a junk journal, this would be a perfect way to start. So how you would do that is every couple of pages, you would just tear out a page because you're going to be adding bulk to it. Um, so that's one way you can do it. I do suggest using a ruler for that because if you pull too much, um, you could actually pull out the binding. Um, but that's something you can start with, with junk journaling. If you um, don't necessarily want to make a whole journal and do all of the binding and signatures and everything. These are a great way to start. Again, just move, remove a couple of pages every um, page or so, and that way you can add your little ephemera pieces and things like that and glue them in there. And I also found these new folders. These were super cute. I picked up this one because I want to make a Zodiac themed junk journal. Um, so I found this folder. I just thought it was really cute. So I might cut this up and use it in my junk journal. So picked that up and then I also found this one was just so cute. Time for war paint. It has a bunch of makeup on it. It's very glittery, but what's really cool about this no glitter is coming off. At least I don't think. It's like baked in there. So I really love this. I think it's super cute. I will probably use this to write down in journal like my favorite makeup and kind of write a little bit about how I feel about it and then just kind of keep it stored in here. So it'd also be good if you are a makeup artist and you can like maybe keep your receipts or something in here, or um, again, a list of like your favorite beauty products and things like that, or your client information. That would be a perfect idea for those cute, that cute file folder. And the very yeah. last items I have to show you guys are actually from last week's Dollar Tree trips. I just forgot to show them to you because they were sitting by my feet um, and I forgot about them. But you guys, I found 18 by 24 inch poster frames in the picture frame section. They were at the very top and I almost passed right by them, even though they're huge. Like how could I miss these? 
Um, but the way Dollar Tree has their picture frames kind of like stacked and leaning against each other, I just kind of like almost walked right by. Um, but you guys, I've never seen Dollar Tree come out with anything this large before. For $1.25, you guys, you get a 18 by 24 inch poster frame. That's insane to me. Um, and you can hang it vertically or horizontally. There's hardware on um, both orientations for that. But I think this is amazing. I'm gonna save these um, for my kids' rooms so that they can put their posters in these. I might pick up a few more as well um, for their posters. You could also um, display old pictures in here. You can do a lot of different like collaging projects, maybe a vision board. Um, after you do it, you can kind of frame it for the year. I just think these are such, such a good find for me um, last week at Dollar Tree. All right, guys, so that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you aren't currently subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Just click on my face in the end screen of this video and you will see the subscribe button pop up. And as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and coming back every week to watch my haul videos or if you watch my crafting videos, thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you that has made um, this channel possible. So until my next video, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.